A 7.1 magnitude earthquake rocks Honduras. The quake struck at 224 this morning, and so far five people have been confirmed dead, four of them children. That death toll is expected to rise, with the injury count currently around 40. The quake was shallow, around six miles deep, making its impact on land more powerful. The epicenter was 80 miles north of La Ceiba on the coast and 39 miles northeast of Rotan, the Bay Islands of Honduras. News 27's Kevin Watler spoke to two people in Rotan today about what happened when the quake struck. Oh, uh, I didn't see nothing like that before. It was terrible. Everybody, we run when I if we were to sleep because it was 2 o'clock at morning and we run. I just went in my boy room and I call him and I say, let's pray because I think this is the end of the world, you know? And then we, we met outside running and hundreds of people running and oh, it was terrible. It was really terrible. Children crying, um, people hollering, and so it, it was terrible. It was the most powerful earthquake I've ever experienced. The entire house I was in began shaking uh, for about 40 seconds. Um, the cupboards opened up and uh, glasses and bottles started falling out, and there were several aftershocks following uh, this earth earthquake. To tell you the truth, at the beginning, I wasn't really sure what was going on, and uh, it looks like um, there was very minor damage to the buildings on Ratan. As far as I know, the, the majority of the damage and some deaths were reported on mainland Honduras, and that's I think that's where what, that's where the authorities are mostly focusing their help. And there is, of course, a large Honduran community here in Cayman. Reporter Kevin Watler spoke with some of the Honduran nationals who live here, who have been desperately trying to get the latest news from home. And when you first heard uh, the news about the earthquake, what was your reaction? How did you feel? My husband wake me up at 6. I usually get up at 6.30 and tend to the kids, and he woke me up at 6. Days, days to get up, he'd say, um... I'm like, what happened, what happened? And he said, there was a heavy earthquake in Honduras and there was a tsunami warning. I jumped up and called my mom and I was scared. But um, she said everything was fine, thank God. But a friend of mine called me at four o'clock in the morning and told me that there was an earthquake and I must call my mother. And I was like, what are you talking about? And because I was still asleep, I just went back to sleep. And then my dad called me in the morning and told me that there was such a bad earthquake. And then immediately I got up out of bed and called my mother and make sure everything was all right. I was so scared. And did they tell you about any damage they saw or what they uh, experienced when the earthquake was going on? Well, my mother said that never in her 40 odd year that she ever felt such a such a quick she said it felt like somebody just picked her house up and was just shaking it from side to side so she said that was an experience for her that is it the power went off you know they don't have no communication because she said after that she tried to call me and she can't get me the phone so until 5 30 she called and she said oh you know daughter this that happened and you know so it's they really you know panic in my family but they are okay thanks god about that i found out this morning on the internet and then um, I had to call my sister to make sure everything is okay because she's a teenager and she goes to school there. So I had to call her in the morning. She wasn't in school because of the earthquake. It cracked the school and it was unsafe. Following the powerful earthquake, a tsunami watch was issued for Belize, Honduras, and Guatemala, but not for the Cayman Islands. Hazard Management Cayman Islands says there are plans in place for the establishment of a Caribbean-wide tsunami warning system, and it should be operational by 2011. In the meantime, the Cayman Islands has commissioned a seismic monitoring network with two seismographs stationed in Grand Cayman, one on Cayman Brac and one on Little Cayman. One seismograph in Frank Sound is fully operational and detected the earthquake off Honduras. The information was then relayed to the HMCI.